Team Rocket, Jesse and James. How old are they? 12? 17? 25? Minus 99? You may be stressing out over how old these two are either because you are a Pokemon otaku who simply wants the Pokemon fun facts, or because you've been looking at off-brand images and wondering where you sit on the moral spectrum when it comes to looking at adult images of imaginary characters with imaginary ages created by not imaginary adults. Either way, no need to worry because today we are going to stack up the official materials to answer the question, how old are Team Rocket's Jesse and James from the Pokemon anime? And instead of just throwing the numbers out there, we'll be taking a look at the why and the why not behind the ages that you see peppered all over online forums and videos and YouTube comment sections without any explanation. So tuck your very best FBI open up jokes where they belong, straight, in the trash. Cross chop that like button for the YouTube algorithm to help your boy Charles buy some beans and let's get to the bottom of this mystery. We are going to walk through three commonly speculated ages ranging from quite ridiculous to very sensible. Firstly, I often see the statement Jesse and James are 12 years old floating around much more than it should be given how ludicrous that idea is. And this is likely all due to a line from episode 218 of the original series that is regularly pulled out of context. In Plant It Now, Diglett Later, a genius episode featuring the number of diglets that every episode should feature, as well as creepy Power Ranger wannabes riding large birds. Jessie is speaking with an old lady who suddenly age flexes on her for no reason, as old people often do, stating that, hey, um, I'm 120 years old. To which Jesse replies, what? That's 10 times my age. And if we pull out the abacus for a quick calculation, that would make Jesse 12 years old. Except that Meowth immediately nukes that claim with a savage 10 times is exaggerating, isn't it? Huh? Shut up over there, Jesse fires back angrily. Meowth certainly called out some mathematics tomfoolery here, as it goes without saying that Jesse is clearly much older than 12. I mean, do you know many adult-sized 12-year-olds who are standing 5'6 to 5'7? Sure, there are exceptions and early bloomers, but the average height of a Japanese 12-year-old girl is apparently just under 5 feet. And just look at these two standing next to that stumpy little gremlin, Ash. Even Brock comes up short in stature next to Big James and Big Jesse, despite ranking among Ash's tallest travel companions and being said to have a few years up on Ash himself. Jesse and James are also taller than adult characters like Nurse Joy and around the same height as adults like Delia, Macho Man, Kukui, Go's Mom, and so on. And likewise, they are drawn as typical, physically mature anime characters in terms of the length of their limbs, body proportions, clothing fit, and so on. So, Jesse, 12 years old, as a woman built like a Maxim cover model who's already attended nursing school, joined multiple gangs, had several boyfriends, and worked in industry, really? Jesse being 12, 15, or anywhere near her early or mid-teens is quite simply a ridiculous proposition and the same is true for James. Speaking of James, in Holy Matrimony, when James's weirdo parents lure him home to try and trap him into marrying Jezebel, well, the marriageable age for a male partner in Japan is 18 years old and anyone under 20 actually needs parental consent. So it seems like a pretty good assumption that James is already above the legal age, or why else would his parents even bother faking their deaths to lure him back before he's even ready to be married off? They're also pretty eager to get him popping out babies to keep the family lineage moving forward, so presumably he is of an age when certain amorous acts would be acceptable, unless his parents are truly at a very different level of wacky, then again, they are pretty strange people. So 12 is obviously ludicrous, and even the mid-teenage years seem highly unlikely given what we've discussed, but even so, 17 is another age that people often drop in the comments section as if it is an undeniable truth, so why does this one keep popping out of the woodwork? 
The notion that Jesse and James are 17 years old has hung around like a musty coat your dad should get rid of but just won't get rid of ever since episode 56 of the original series, The Ultimate Test, when Jesse was filling out an admission form for the Pokemon League entrance exam and marked down age 17 profession diva on the sheet. So she wrote 17 on an application form? In that case, certainly she must be 17, right? Wrong. This claim is overshadowed by later evidence, but moreover, Jessie is in disguise here and clearly lying about her profession, so why would we reject that claim but put stock in the age that she jotted down? It seems more likely that she's aging herself down, just as in the incident with the age-flexing granny. So while 17 at least makes more sense than 12 from the standpoint of physical development, the citation here looks as flimsy as a dead drunk for it, considering that Jessie was in disguise when she made this claim and James's looming marriage struggles and Jesse's storied career history make it an even tougher one to buy into. But most importantly, the idea simply falls flat in the weight of material supporting the much more likely claim that these characters are in their mid-twenties. Let's first hit the two most blatant pieces of support for this argument. Firstly, we have the Japan-only radio drama written by the original anime's chief writer Takeshi Shudo that preceded the premiere of Mewtwo Strikes Back. A radio drama in which Giovanni reveals that 20 years prior to some point in the first season of the anime, Jesse's mother, Team Rocket agent Miyamoto, had already put her young daughter into foster care. Two years later, embarking into the depths of South America to search for Mew, never to return. In a brief encounter, Encounter with Mew that did not end well, Miyamoto pleaded with Mew to let her capture it so that she could afford to pay for her daughter's nursery school and kindergarten. Kids typically enter nursery school at around two and a half to three years old in Japan, and kindergarten caters to the kids in the three to five year old range. So Jessie would likely have been two to four years old at the time, either just about ready to start preschool or in the midst of her early schooling at this point if Miyamoto was worried about funding it. That would peg Jessie at at least 22 to 24 years old during the first season of the anime and absolutely no younger than 20. Even if Miyamoto put her into foster care as soon as she was born, which doesn't seem to be the case. Secondly, we have some important snippets of the original Japanese dialogue from the second Pokemon movie. When Lugia teases Misty by asking if she has romantic feelings for Ash, Jesse says to the two of them that they are 10 years too early to be having lovers squabbles, after which James adds, and the two of us are 5 years too late. If Ash and Misty were 10 years old at this point, as they supposedly are in the floating timeline, then that puts Jesse and James at 25 years old in the movie, ages which line up quite nicely with the radio drama materials, their physical presence, their backstories, and common sense. Jesse's obsession with staying young and beautiful, and her freakouts when people take jabs at her age like in episode 40 of the original series when Misty calls her an old hag only corroborate this theory. P.S. Do you remember episode 87 of the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime, in which all of the adults living in Alola had their motivation drained by an ultra wormhole siphoning out the region's ultra aura? The list of adults affected included the likes of Professor Kukui, Burnett, Sophocles' mom, Baba, Wick, Lusamine, and oh yeah, Jesse and James. There are always those fans who argue that certain details of the earlier segments of the anime should be written out of the canon because, well, it would be convenient for their arguments, I suppose. But we are talking about the Sun and Moon anime here, and if conclusive evidence, this recent does not put a nail in the coffin of the comments I see claiming that Bulbapedia is lying and Jesse and James are actually 17, 15, 12, 10, or whatever non-adult age people have been cooking up on the Sedebi forums or Tumblr or wherever else, well, what would? Just to put a little extra icing on the cake, in Diamond and Pearl episode 63, Hot Springing a Leak, we see shots of them chilling nude together in a hot spring, and what have we here? James pouring shots of sake with the legal drinking age in Japan being 
20 years old. You could argue that they are indulging in some underage drinking since they're criminals after all, but it seems unlikely that Pokemon would rep that on the show. Alcohol often does appear in anime even when it's geared to underage audiences, but underage drinking? The PTA would be all over that. Lastly, the turning of the seasons and the conceptions and births of children in the anime indicate that a sizable chunk of time has passed in the anime regardless of what fans or writers say, so if we take the 25 or so age above, we may want to actually consider tacking a few extra years onto that number. If we don't, then we need to acknowledge that the characters of this universe are indeed ageless, that Pokemon world time doesn't flow anything like it does in the real world, and that there simply isn't any equivalency between real world age and Pokemon anime character age. After all, like all anime characters, Jesse and James could be considered simply as abstractions created as vessels for fun storytelling that's accessible to everyone. That would be a very reasonable explanation. But I suppose that wouldn't be very interesting. It is fun to take a crack at these topics, and the verdict on this one is that the mid-twenties age makes the most sense when we consider the actual content of the anime and supporting materials rather than unfounded message board ramblings. But how about you? Are Jesse and James 25 or close to that age? Or am I totally wrong and the younger ages actually do hold water? Perhaps they're even older than their 20s. I'm curious what you think. As for Meowth, he is definitely a 600 year old cat lolly.